back to my channel. Today, I'm working on a project that I've been so excited about. I've been wanting to do it for probably about three years now, so I finally took a weekend, went to the store, grabbed all my supplies, and I just did it, which is really hard. Any of you that have babies around, you know it's impossible to find time, but I did it, and I'm so happy that I did, and I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. So I'm gonna show you guys today how I built a dog crate and table. So, if you want to see the full tutorial, make sure to stay tuned, and if you like it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Okay, so first, you're going to need a dog crate. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure the length. Then you're gonna measure the height and you're gonna measure the width. And don't do what I did here. I drilled mine together so that my tops and my bottom were a complete rectangle. This was my first mess up. You want to make sure that your height piece goes in between these two pieces. It should look like that. So make sure you pre-drill into all three pieces so that your joints fit up like this. Now you're going to pre-drill all your screw holes. This is really important. If you don't do this, it's going to split. And most likely if you do do it and you don't use the right size drill bit, it's still gonna split. All right, so essentially I've built a, not a tube, cube, baby brain. So the wood screws were causing me a lot of grief. So I switched to deck screws because that is what my husband suggested. Something about them gripping a lot better. I would say they work a thousand times better. I don't know that I will ever be buying regular screws again because these things just did so much better. So I'm gonna take it inside and make sure that the crate fits inside of the cube and then I can start building my top fork. So once you've got your cube and you know for sure that your crate fits snugly inside of your cube, you can go on to making the top. I used one by three by eight pine boards. Now keep in mind the measurement of the length and the width of your table and make sure to add on about half an inch to each side. So when you're cutting the boards for the top, you add that amount in so you have a little bit of an overhang. Now just screw them on. I could not be happier about the way that this project turned out. This is something that I've been wanting to do forever and now I have a practical place at the end of both my couches to set a cup of coffee in the morning or anything to decorate. I have something beautiful there. I still haven't finished it. I do plan on staining it and probably sealing it but time is limited with a six month old that demands every ounce of my energy and time. So that'll have to wait till another weekend. 
Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you really enjoyed that video and you found it helpful. If you would like to see more projects or more building plans, let me know. I'd love to share them with you. Make sure to comment below and hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you've done this project, please let me know. I'd love to see how it turned out for you. All right guys, until next time, bye.